Hello there, Jared here from the Food Island Running Club. We're going to show you a very basic uh, run warm up for complete beginners, okay, today. we we'll start with a gentle foam rollout, okay, so all you're going to need is with your runners on or off, so for outside today, foam rolling, release that tension in the quads, whether you do a lot of sitting down and work or if you're doing a lot of mileage in the legs um, or no mileage at all, just gentle foam rollout for your quads, your muscles that stabilize your knees and your hips. So t roughly 30 seconds on both sides. Have a stopwatch ready or until you feel a nice release. After that, you do 30 seconds on each side of your calf muscles. So again, these muscles here that help propel you forward when you're running, they get very tight, okay? So discover any tightness there and I would recommend holding on that tightness, moving the ankle, knee joints around. And again, very important you do the breathing, okay? It's nice relaxed breathing. You can finish off with a gentle rollout for the hamstrings. Generally not too bad. Just get a bit of blood flowing again. Nice and easy before you start some of your mobility exercises. Okay, so we throw that away. We start off, okay, for complete beginners, all right. All I want you to do is a light jog in a spot. So stop watch on, okay, or look at clock if you're at home. Weather's so great at the moment, we're doing it outside. And all we're looking for here is that you have a gentle tuck of your belly button up to your spine. So you should feel a little tuck of those core muscles, the abdominals and your glutes. Forward posture, looking ahead. That's 30 seconds done. Okay, take a short 15 seconds rest. Then all I want you to do is keep an eye on your stopwatch. Okay, start in three, two, one. 30 seconds of knee hugs. So again here, jog a few steps and change. Great one to hip, stretch out those hip flexors. Again, if you haven't done a lot of movement in a while, all we're doing here is priming the muscles, the main muscles for running. So stretch those hips, stabilizing on the ankle, on your standing leg, work that balance. Again, excellent, 30 seconds of these. Pull the knee nice and tight to the, towards the chest, and relax, okay? Next one we're gonna do is very simple, okay? We're going to do side to side, pull out, feet nice and wide, weight through your heels, toes down also. Five seconds on your right side, slide your arms all the way across to your left, five seconds each. Feel nice stretch there on the back of your hamstrings. Grind is tight, feel a bit stretch there out. Again, 10 reps in total, five each side. Just moving side to side, not holding it for long. Stretching out the muscles, the back of your legs, and get a nice blood flow going before you start your run. Okay, and then the next one is simple. Leg swings, getting the hip extension, a bit more stress for the upper hamstrings again. The back of the body is the main muscles we want to use when we're running. Push yourself forward. And again, 10 reps of this, nice and relaxed, three steps and change. Keep a nice upright torso, looking forward, and smile, <laughs> okay? That's one round, it'll only take you about three minutes. You do two, three rounds of that, and then you're ready for your run. If you haven't run in a while, I would recommend just run for one minute, so you have your stopwatch, your wristwatch, and get started. So you're gonna run, nice and steady, lift your knees, hips forward for one minute, followed by a minute walk. Again, keep your shoulders back, your hips forward. When the watch goes on to your next minute, you start again. So minute run, minute walk five times, Okay, that's 10 minutes and then you're complete. Have a good day.